the cup works. End of review. Bye. Welcome back to our channel. This is Kim from Put a Cup in It. And today I'd like to give you my review of the Organica. And it's been a pretty requested review. Since there's just uh, only so many periods a month, just one, and so many vaginas, it takes a while to get to some of these reviews. So this is one I've been wanting to do for a while. And I would like to let you know that it is inside me right now. So this is my second trial run with the cup. Um, and so I've had almost two full cycles where I've been able to test the cup and now I can give you my thoughts. Unfortunately, the size A organic cup has gone missing that I own and the size B is currently in use. So for my demonstrations to show you the features of the cup, I'm gonna have to use the mini, which is adorable and we're definitely gonna talk about this new size they launched last year. They started with a size A and a size B and now they have a mini for the first timer teen group or just very petite people. So um, that's gonna be in use later in this review. So if you're here to learn more about the mini, um, maybe fast forward a bit until that gets talked about, but we're gonna talk about just Organic Cup A and B first. A few facts about Organic Cup. They started in Denmark, in Copenhagen. And unfortunately when I was there for uh, a vacation, we didn't get to connect, but maybe next time. They only produce their cups in clear, so they're really uh, one of those cups that doesn't use colorants, doesn't want colorants. They feel like uh, clear is the way to go. So if you're buying organic cup because it fits well or you like the idea or you like the brand, um, you'll only get it in clear. They do have three sizes, as I mentioned. They have the A, the B, and the Mini, which I have here. One of the things that I really, really like about this brand, um, you know I'm all about packaging. If you've watched reviews here before, this is not exciting packaging, it's not flashy, it's not particularly clever in any way, but look how thin it is. So when it ships, even though the cups are thicker than this, they get it into this little box so it takes up less space. It's probably cheaper to ship. Um, when people get it, they're not dealing with a lot of packaging. It's just this box, the instructions, and the bag. But I do love how eco-friendly, recyclable these packages are. Um, and how they don't add a lot to it. It's just very simple. Um, so I will go off my packaging rant, but I always have to talk about the packaging. <laughs> so the cup itself, um, it's nothing, you know, flashy either. It is clear. It has grip rings at the bottom. It has a pretty robust but flexible stem with lots of little ridges. So if you like a stem and want it and need it for grip, Theirs is one of the grippier stems. It's not a flat tapered stem. It actually has things that when you grab it, if you need it to move down and wiggle it down, you actually can stay on it. It's not, your fingers are not gonna slip. And also for the grips, same story. Now on the flip side of that, if you're sensitive, you don't like that um, organic cup and really any menstrual cup you try can be flipped inside out to get rid of the ridges or the raised lettering, um, but you would just wanna trim your stem off before you do that. Um, for the cup that I'm wearing now, which is their size B, I am a B, um, it's, I trim the stem off immediately just because this is the kind of stem that I know I would notice. Um, I didn't even try it with the stem on this time. So um, as soon as I started last period, I looked at it and I was like, mm, I'm gonna trim the stem. <laughs> I'm not even gonna test it. Um, and that's not something I normally do because some of the flimsier, thinner stems, I give a chance, but this one is robust. Good thing for people who need it, not a good thing for me. It's a little bit of a flared rim. It has the uh, suction holes. It does have measurement lines and uh, their branding on it, of course. It is one of the seam built cups, so their seam is pretty noticeable, um, but it's also well run. So when you manufacture a cup, if you have a seam on it, there is a process to kind of like smooth it down or whatever. Um, and so this one, I've seen some that have little pieces of silicone still kind of hanging on it, like little tiny layers, little membranes. Um, this one's completely well done, but it is a noticeable seam. I've never felt a seam, but when you look at it, it kind of stands out that it has one. Clear cups will stain, so uh, you can do a peroxide soak every once in a while, or maybe put it out in the sun, some people do that. 
um, just to get rid of their stains. So the Organic Cup, even the Mini, can do any of the folds that you're used to seeing. Really easy to do the punch down fold. But um, yeah, here you go. Oh, and so there you go. That was a good example of how to help it open too. Um, and here it is inside this little cube. Just sits there nicely under the cervix. Before we get into the review part, I do want to mention one of the things that I like about Organic Cup is they really do walk the walk when it comes to education, when it comes to charity. They aren't necessarily a one-for-one -one program like some of the cups that you've seen that are popular for doing their charity programs. Um, but from what I can tell from their social and from their really beautiful website that they must have just recently redone, it is gorgeous. Um, what they are doing is just finding different charity partners to work with in different capacities. One of the things I really liked was that they were providing menstrual cups to sex workers and they might expand on that program. Um, they also provide a lot for uh, educational purposes and to teach people in schools about the cups, so they provide that. Okay, so about the use and <laughs> how it works for me. So the sizing on the cups for Organic Cup uh, they do offer three sizes. Capacity-wise, Organic Cup on their entire line is very just right there on average. Their B, which is their large, holds 30 milliliters. That's right where all the other cups are, Lunette, Diva, very average for large. So their A cup, which is their small, that one holds 25 milliliters is what it says on the box. Now, when Amanda did her capacity measuring to the holes, it actually holds 21. And their holes are... Not the smallest, but not the biggest. So it really depends on the consistency of your flow, if you would have leaks, if it went above the holes. So on the size A, up to 21. On the size B, if you're measuring to the holes, is 27. On the mini that you see here, it says 15. So that seems about right. So 15 milliliters, not a huge capacity, but if you're one of the people who are starting out on their period journey, a young person, usually you're not gonna be starting out with a super heavy flow. Of course, there's always someone who does, that sucks, but um, typically it's light, scant, and irregular. My personal experience with the cup is uh, has been perfectly great. Like it's one of those very average cups. It falls in with Lunette for me. Uh, Lunette's one of my Goldilocks cups. I love Lunette. I found it very comparable to a Lunette, but now that it's in my vagina, I cannot do this for you <laughs> and show you. <laughs> uh, but I'll squeeze real, real quickly. I'll Kegel. And it um, feels like a Lunette in there. Um, and Lunette works so great for me, which is why my experience with Organic Cup has been really great. No leaks. I can't feel it. I actually forgot, because I'm on the tail end of my period, I forgot that I was wearing the Organic Cup. And so I went to use the bathroom for the morning constitutional and almost got rid of it, as in I almost shut it out. It was poking out, I was giving birth. So I forgot it was in, went and did the normal thing I would do and almost shut it out. So that is just how comfortable it's been for me. Um, it is one of those cups there's not much I can say about on a review because it worked, it fit, it opened fine. The only thing I noticed is that this one I kind of had to um, burp, if you've heard of that expression after I folded it and put it in, it felt like it didn't want to open every time. And so I would just kind of push the bottom and like allow some air and then let it go. And I could even hear it make the noise. Um, I would say that's TMI, but it's not on Put A Cup In Its Channel. Um, and yeah, that was it. It was in and it didn't leak and I didn't feel it. So it's the Goldilocks um, right up there with Lunette. I'm a little sad I haven't tried it earlier, but um, I actually didn't have it for a long time, and so, you know, when they finally sent some a few months ago, it just got bumped for some other reviews, and finally I was like, you know what, people keep asking about Organic Cup, it is going in the next cycle, so that was last month. One of the things Organic Cup does often, if you follow them on social media, they do a lot of sales. So if you're following their Instagram or their Facebook page, you're going to get notices all the time, they're doing a buy one get one free sale or a buy two get one free or a buy one get two free. Um, so it's almost always a possibility if you're trying to buy an organic cup that you can get not one but two. So if you're looking to try a cup and you have a good friend who's also looking to try a cup, maybe keep an eye out together on the sales. Maybe you could score one for you and one for a friend for the price of one. Um, if you're just going on to Amazon to buy an organic cup and don't mind sales and don't want to deal with all that, they're typically around 20 bucks. 
So 20 bucks with prime shipping for our US viewers. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty comparable in Europe as well. Now let's talk about the mini itself. So the A and the B, they're just normal sized cups, but the mini is an exciting addition that they added last year. And um, it's really filling a need for people who need a starter cup. Even if you're looking at just a size small, a size one, um, it's intimidating and it's large, especially Diva Cup, which is that you know more available brand for most of us at this point. Um, so having a bigger brand like Organic Cup offer a mini, it's just a great place for people who are just starting their periods to start out with and explore uh, an internal period product that is not scary to look at. <laughs> Wanted to show you some of the other mini extra small cups available and how they compare to the Organic Cup Mini. This is one that has always been on the market for quite a while. This is the Maluna Shorty um, and it's their really tiny one. So this is compared to one another. They're very, very similar, um, except the stems are different, but width wise, um, Organic Cup is smaller. For Moonsa, the Taiwanese brand makes a training cup, which is very, very small, um, not far from that, but a little bit longer, excluding the stem. Be Free is a new cup, um, hopefully doing a review on that at some point. Um, and I have tried it a little bit, not this one, because this would just literally fall out of my body. <laughs> um, and so this one's a little bit smaller than the Organic Cup Mini. Here's one that I really like. It's the Clara Farm um, Extra Small. It's longer, which is good if, you know, the person using it has a higher cervix, and but it's still very narrow and very comparable in the diameter to the Organic Cup Mini. And then this is another mini. This is the Monthly Cup Mini. I think this is a Swedish brand. Um, just a little nubby tail. Very, very similar in the diameter. But the um, Monthly Cup is a little bit longer. And then one that has a color. <laughs> this is the Hello Cup Teen. And these are um, a little different. This is the TPE cup. Diameter is very close, but Hello Cup's a bit longer. And all of these have varying different firmness levels. So, you know, I like the concept of the mini. And um, I think it would be nice if the stem were a little longer because I do think that even though I've looked into this and researched it every way from Sunday to try to be able to say if this is true or not, my hunch is that teens have a, a higher cervix than, you know, someone who has been around a, long, a, a while longer or who has given birth. Um, your uterus kind of lands in a different spot after having a baby. And so um, it tends to be a little lower than before. And when you're more active and you typically are more active in your younger years. So it's a guess. Um, it's not corroborated. But, you know, if I were starting out with a cup and I put in a tiny little cup and I couldn't reach it, I would be panicking that I couldn't find it. So something like um, the Diva Zero, which is longer, um, or the Clara Farm, which has a nice long stem and is a longer cup, um, those come to mind as something that is a little more accessible when you're trying to reach it and grab it um, and have that safety net of knowing I can always find the stem. Even if the cup itself is shorter and you trim the stem down, you can always find it. So I think I would love this cup to just have a little bit of a longer stem just in case and that way you have the option to trim it down but um, you know the cup body itself is totally acceptable I, I like the body style um, having 15 milliliters capacity wise certainly is not a deal breaker um, but you know there are people who would bleed more even in that category who would want something like the size A um, so I wish I had that to show you <laughs> <laughs> a total Kim fail. Um, so I think that's it. Um, I wish I had more exciting details in the review part of this video, but I don't because it's just a really good gun. Um, it's just something I can't say a lot about and I feel like I'm just talking for the sake of talking at this point because it feels weird to just say, the cup worked. End of review. Bye. Because <laughs> it did. It worked as the end of review. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. It's just great. That's it for this Organic Cup review. Um, sorry it wasn't juicier. It's just a good cup. If you're new to the Put a Cup in It channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We also invite you to join our Facebook community, which recently hit 40,000 members, and you can ask your troubleshooting questions there in a supportive group of other cup users or cup newbies. 
And don't forget to like this video and leave us a comment. Thanks so much. Bye. Our a few facts about Organica. They are <gasps> a few facts about nope. And one of the things. <laughs>